to present the 2007 UK Country Music Radio Awards. Will you please welcome with a thunderous applause to our stage, Edge and Shelley. The award is for the album of the year. Green Hills, Dane Stevens, I Want to Be Rich, Lucy Diamond, It's Been a Good Year from Henry Smith, and Waterfalls, Chili Gold. That was a, that was a nomination. But, and the winner, Green Hills, Dane Stevens. Thank you. Well, thanks very much. This is absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Um, I'd just like to thank all the DJs and uh, presenters that uh, thought of me and uh, nominated me for this award. And also everybody that voted for me. And for us British country artists, this is our Golden Globe. Thank you very much. Single of the year. The nominees in this category are Some Things I Like by Dan, Dan Wesley. Where Have All the Good Times Gone by Dave Sheriff. Me on the Radio, Ned Kelly. And I Want to Be Rich, Don't We All, by Lucy Diamond. And the winner for the Single of the Year for the UK Country Music Radio Awards, Where Have All the Good Times Gone, Dave Sheriff. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Ash. Yeah, that's great. Has, um, did you manage to get that one? You did, that's great. Thank you very much indeed, everybody. Thanks to the industry for the nominations, and thanks for everybody uh, for voting. It means a great deal, and I've got uh, probably one of the best jobs in the world, in that uh, I write songs, and I make my living by going out and singing them, and people like them. So thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We come to the song of the year. Oh, I get this right. The nominees were Some Like It, Some Things I Like. By Dan Wesley. Where have all the good times gone, Dave Sheriff? When I see those green hills, Dane Stevens, and waterfalls, chilly gold. And the winner, some things I like, Dan Wesley. Hey. It's a little like a, a twin pair now. I can put one. I've got one in the studio and one of the speakers, but it's making me sound uneven, so I can put one on. <laughs> Stereo now. That's a picture of your head. <laughs> thank you very much for. I mean, last year um, I was very lucky enough to um, have been voted for the single. There's something about a song which kind of. Uh, well, it kind of elevates it even more if somebody thinks it's a, a great song. Thank you for all those that have heard the song and liked it and voted. Uh, just a quick word on, um, following on from what David Allen and Co were saying earlier on. I don't know if you remember, this time last year, um, after the show last year, I went back to the hotel. And the following morning, I put the TV on in the room. And it was GMTV, they had this young lad on the couch being interviewed. He was a, a big nominee in that night's British Folk Awards. And uh, I thought, oh, that's very nice. So driving on the way home, put Five Live on. They were talking and talking and going on about tonight's British Folk Awards. And then of course Radio 2 put it on uh, that evening. And of course it's great because they deserve their moment in the sun as well. But uh, I think we probably do as well. I don't know if anyone probably agree with this. Uh, let's, hope that, uh, let's hope we can make that move in the right direction. I know there's uncertainty um, after, um, after losing Sue this week. Uh, just a, a quick thing on Sue before I go. I did, uh, I don't, last year I came with my mum and dad. And my dad took a photograph of me when I was up here, stood with Sue. And you know these red lights up there at the top? When he got the picture developed, we, he showed me the picture, and it was perfectly placed. It looked like Sue. Two Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> and I said to the photo, the photograph to see, if, I said, you know, maybe there's something that might cheer you up. And she had a little chuckle. So uh, we are all going to miss her, but whatever people can do to keep this going, it is the only spotlight that British country music really gets on a national level. Please, let's all, as fans, club goers, presenters, whatever our role, let's, um, let's boost the scene and keep this going on for many years. The fourth presentation this 
this evening is the Presenters Award for the most nominations. Now, <laughs> obviously the, the title of the award would suggest that there is only one winner. In that case, there are no nominees. The winner for the Presenters, presenters sorry, Award for the most nominations is Lucy Diamond. <laughs> Hot Disc Track of the Year for the most successful pretty single and the winner I want to be rich, Lucy Diamond I didn't think he was going to give me the mic, I think he's trying to get rid of me <laughs> um, Once again I'd like to say thank you but I'd also like to thank Sue McCarthy um, She's given me some amazing support and. Uh, I think that sometimes in the future we should perhaps come up with an award that is in Sue's honour, maybe a Horizon Award or something, just to keep her memory alive. But uh, I want to thank her for her support of everybody in the country music scene. And, um, so, and also as well I want to thank the DJs who voted for, um, for me in the awards, thank you. And for all the DJs who have been playing my music, thank you. <laughs> already at a seven. That's quite unbelievable. Because we're running late, so, so I better shut up and get on. <laughs> the next award goes to the favourite radio station and presenter, which is voted by the listeners. And the, but the winner for 2007 is for BBC Radio Shropshire, is Marie Crichton. Hey! a few years ago and they said to me um, you know stick to what you're good at so um, I decided to take up talking professionally <laughs> and there's only one thing that I actually like more than talking and that's country music and I really really mean that anybody who knows me knows that I am borderline obsessive about it so anything that promotes country music is, is great with me and today has just been absolutely fantastic and I think it's also testament to to Sue and how dedicated she also was to country music and I think you know today's just been a fantastic day so thank you to everybody who voted, thank you to BBC Radio Shropshire, thank you to everybody who's put on this event, my family and friends and um, also to the listeners because without them I'd just be talking to myself again so thank you very much indeed. <laughs> For so that presenters like Marie, of course, we wouldn't hear the wonderful British country music that we do on our, on our radios, week in, week out. We come down to the final award this evening, and this is the, the little wooden plaque that sits in the middle of the table every year. It goes out at the end. And this is now awarded in the memory of, of my dad, Dave Street, who along with Sue and Edge, was one of the co-editors of Southern Country Magazine. He also started this award show, along with Sue and Edge, 17 years ago. And I was going to say that I was a baby then, but I really wasn't. <laughs> but we were down at Basingstoke in the old mental hospital, I think. <laughs> we felt right at home. We came to the lakeside 16 years ago, and it's a fabulous, fabulous venue. When my dad died four years ago next week, it will be, Sue and Edge dedicated this award in the memory of Dave Street. This is for the services to country music and the award for 2007 goes to Jim Duncan. And to present the award, it's Pat Street. so many memories for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Duncan. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Ash. Thank you very much.